Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are talking about GPU risers. The very first video of this channel was actually about risers and even though it was a terrible first it's still getting views to this day so it was time for a follow up. Of course if you decided to click on this video you are a crypto miner and looking to add GPUs. Risers enable that but they need additional power and that is where questions come up often on how to do that safely. GPUs are valuable and we don't want to risk our mining operation just because of a wrong cable. Today's video is brought to you by GPURisers.com who were so kind to provide risers for upcoming builds. More on them in a bit. The safest way to power your riser is 6-pin PCIe. Second is Molex with a bit of research. That is if those plugs are direct and not adapted. So even if many risers do offer SATA connections, don't use it. Many risers, especially the older ones, come with SATA to 6-pin or Molex adapters and also avoid those at all costs. This counts as a SATA 2, as it cannot deliver more power than the SATA can, which is limited to 54 watts total. And that is the problem. You will wonder why that is when your GPU is plugged in with power anyway, but indeed a card also draws power from the PCIe slot and it can do that up to 75 watts. So 75 watts max versus 54 watts max, that's the thing. The same counts from adapters from SATA. Again, as I hear that often folks, in most cases you won't have a problem with SATA. It's just that the rare cases, if you have a power spike and a GPU draws too much than the cable can handle, or it's too hot for a prolonged amount of time, you really can have a fire hazard on your hands and damage valuable graphic cards or your house. We don't say these things to make your life harder when building your rig. We say it because even if only one of 10 people has dying hardware because of that, it's well worth to inform about it. So let's move on to the safe options. On Molex and 6-pin, you don't have these problems. Let's talk Molex first. These differ and I would be careful with older PSUs. Definitely do a Google search on your PSU brand if you're not sure, but modern Molex the whole lane that is not the connector can provide 156 watts. So that means for example on my Corsair ATX PSUs I feel safe to power two risers per one Molex cable. Also a two Molex to one 6-pin adapter is also fine to power a riser but I would not power more than one other riser from that lane. Again check your PSU model and manufacturer for how high the Molex lanes are rated. For power draw the formula to calculate is amps times volts equals watts. With this you can calculate each and every cable. Knowing about SATA and Molex, the safest way to power risers is always 6-pin PCIe. If you can get good quality splitters, it's okay to use those. Yes, sometimes it's not possible to power your risers and GPUs just with stock cables, so you can do some planning. 75 watts for the PCIe lane and depending on the GPU, you can either split off to a secondary power of a GPU or to another riser. That's the three type of connectors you need to know about when thinking about powering GPU risers. To recap, avoid SATA as much as you can. Nothing has to happen, but if something was to happen, you will probably bite your own behind for the rest of your life. Then Molex is okay, but I would still do a search on your PSU model and on how high the lanes of it are rated. Lastly, the safest way to power your risers is PCIe 6-pin. Even splitters are okay, but check that they use proper cables. Now you should be safe to power your risers no matter the circumstances. The risers I got here today were provided by GPURisers.com. Thank you guys very much for that. They are a US based company and I am sure you saw them with my friends like Red Panda Mining and others. I'm glad to announce with them that they are now also available in Europe. You can find it under GPURisers.uk that I find awesome. Of course for transparency, if you power your riser safely, any brand is fine. I personally rather support a young company active in the community and focused on mining though, than a random no-name reseller on the internet. So I'm glad to have them on board with the channel. Welcome and thanks guys. That's it? You folks know I rather keep my videos short. Your time is valuable. Thank you very much for tuning in. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!
Ooh.